I'm John Meza, Director of Student Affairs and District Safety. As a retired police officer with over 30 years experience, I am dedicated to doing all we can to keep our campuses safe. The purpose of this video is to talk about how we as a community can keep our students and our schools safe. One of the key components of crime prevention and safety is a term called layering. And I want to explain it to you in this way. Imagine trying to keep your vehicle safe. We take precautions to ensure that nobody steals our vehicle or steals our valuables. We roll up our windows, we lock our doors to our vehicle, we make sure that our keys aren't in the car. We hide valuables that are in the car so no one can see it. Those are all components of layering to protect our vehicle. It's the same concept at our schools. You may notice that all our schools have perimeter fencing, access points, to ensure that people are coming through only those areas where we have guards or staff to monitor those areas. You may notice that we ask all visitors and parents to check in at the front office. We have high-tech video surveillance at all our schools. The reason people wear their badges, so the security guards can identify who belongs on campus and who doesn't. Those are all components of layering to ensure that our school is secure. But the number one important form of layering that we have is the human factor, and that's our security guards, our teachers, our administration, our, our custodians. Our school resource officers play a vital role in the security and safety of our schools. And together, we ensure that our schools are safe. In the event of an emergency, let's talk about the three C's. Coordination, communication, and remaining calm. The first C is coordination. As a parent, I want you to know that there is a lot of planning that goes on behind the scenes to ensure we are prepared in the event of an emergency. We work closely with local government agencies, including the police and fire departments for Tempe, Phoenix, and Chandler, to prevent and plan and prepare for a crisis on our campus. We are fortunate to have full-time school resource officers at each of our schools. These officers work closely with administrators and teachers each and every day to ensure the safety of our students. They assist in our investigating threats, they get to know our students, and they are a visible deterrent being on campus during the school day and at school events. And they are there to help to ensure that we have emergency plans in place. We hope that we never have to respond, but in the event that something does happen, we are ready and will do everything in a coordinated efforts to ensure the safety of our school. The second C is communication. Communication during an emergency can be complicated by high emotions. As a district, we are committed to communicating with parents in an open and transparent manner. During an emergency, we have several ways that we will communicate with you. We might contact you via phone with a voice message. We might email you. We will most likely place an emergency message on our district website and the school website. We also have the ability to use Twitter and Facebook to provide information. And while social media can be an effective communication tool, it can also be a source of misinformation. Please keep this in mind when reading posts about activities occurring at your school that are not from an official account. Finally, I want you to know that while responding to the incident is our first priority, communicating with you is also very important. The third C is remaining calm. As a father, I know that this is probably the toughest of the three Cs. However, remaining calm in an emergency can save lives. Should your child contact you during a situation, Remind them to remain calm and listen to their teacher. It is also critical that you do not rush to your school campus during a crisis. We will communicate specific information to you about when and where you can reunite with your child. We also do drills that in the event of an emergency, students and staff will know what to do. Practice makes perfect, and practice will also help people remain calm. So, what can you do to help keep students safe? In addition to everything you've learned in this video, I want to leave you with a few steps that you need to take as a parent or guardian of a Tempe Union High School student. First, make sure your information is up to date in parent view. Check the accuracy of phone numbers, emails, and emergency contacts. Second, talk to your child about what to do in an emergency. If they are unsure, encourage them to speak with a teacher or school administrator. Remind them that if they see something, they need to say something. Finally, I want to reassure you that although we live in uncertain times, schools are a safe place, and we are dedicated to providing a safe and secure learning environment for every child.